So I typically don't do any kind of unboxing or like a really in-depth product review, but I want to show something, mainly because I do not like it. So this is a green laser. It's the Holosun LS117G. Uh, and yeah, obviously, if you know anything about them, everything that they make is made in China. So, that's what it comes with. Owner's manual. Hey, uh, I'm not even going to take that out, but that's a, well, you know, we'll take it out so you can see it. It's a, uh, presser, pressure switch. I didn't know that they, maybe they all are all held on with tape. I didn't know that. That's kind of weird. Uh, I'm not even going to mount it, uh, so we don't, we won't see what it actually uses. So I went with the green because this, uh, the green one takes the CR2 battery, which is three volts. So I was like, okay, it'll be way better than the, uh, the red one that takes, uh, just, I think one double A. So I was like, okay, double the voltage. Maybe it's going to have a little bit more power, be brighter. So, uh, this is what you get. It has, uh, the spot where you hook up the remote, uh, windage and elevation uh, settings so you can adjust it uh, and then it has the uh, remote setting or the off or on and uh, I couldn't find any videos or anything on YouTube about the green one there was stuff about the uh, IR one but nothing about the green one so I got it opened it up threw the battery in there And then, hold on, let me not get beat by this thing. Put the battery in there uh, yesterday, and then I was like, okay, watch your eye, and we'll turn it on. And I was like, man, that is so dim. I was like, that is like the dimmest laser ever. I was like, okay, I can't see anything. Uh, little did I realize it took me a little bit of playing around that I uh, should have known that... Uh, the laser would be near the little warning don't burn your eyes out so uh that's what that was me kind of being ignorant to how a laser uh whatever you want to call it laser sight works so i turned it on with that little cover off and i was like oh that's uh that's awesome it's it's pretty decently bright because uh, it was trying to, it was kind of hard to find any information online about it uh, one of the distributors that I was looking at said that it had uh, adjustable brightness a uh, high and low so it, it would be able to be seen outside so let's uh let's go outside and see this thing yeah it's uh it's like a jungle out here it's been raining like constantly so grass is uh bad sorry uh, Let's get this thing on. So there she is. Can you see it? And keep in mind, this is in the shade. Let's go over here and see how it is in the sun. Can you see it right there in the center? Now imagine how that would look way off in the distance at a target. It's like impossible to see this thing unless it's, you know, two feet in front of you in the shade, uh, let alone like, you know, I was going to put this on a rifle. So, you know, 50 yards away or so, you know, you're not going to see this thing hardly at all. So. I, uh, I should have said at the beginning to you, like how much this cost. So, uh, it was just over $300. So it's kind of expensive for something that I think is actually completely useless. Maybe it's cause I'm ignorant to how these things are supposed to work. Maybe that the, this is brighter than any of the other ones on the market, but I would say based on the price, it's not. It does come with a little interesting little 
Uh -huh. I, I think this container is amazing. It has a little uh, Allen key in it for the mount. I think it's actually like a Torx. Uh, yeah, it's a Torx style bit, probably like a T5, maybe T10, it's hard to see. Uh, let me put that here and let's see what this thing says. Are we gonna be able to see this? I might have to just put a link. I'll put a I'll take the picture of this and I'll put a link in the in the comments so you can actually see the instructions. But you know, I was like, okay, maybe there is a brightness setting. So I, I you know, I looked it over, looked over the instructions, had my wife look them over, and I was like, dang, you know, there's no there's nothing that that uh that tells you that it's got a high and low so maybe for all you people that are way smarter let's uh see if you can see that so that's the uh, different ones down here the three different ones you can get the the red the green or the ir so obviously if you look at uh the power and the wavelength maybe that will actually tell you something about which one's actually like the brightness to your actually you know to the naked eye uh, but to me, this is why I went with the green, uh, because the AA battery is 1.5 volts and the CR2 is three. So I was like, it's gotta be brighter, you know, I'm just getting old. I want to be able to have something that will, uh, allow me to get faster target acquisition. And, uh, unfortunately this ain't it.